Oh, that's steep. That's really steep. That was much steeper than I thought it was going to be. Whoa! This is Lake Faso, a beautiful new map mod for BeamNG by Spencer Johnson. It's based on a real-life lake called Lake Tahoe, which is situated between California and Nevada in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Now, this has just released today on Spencer Johnson's Patreon. Thank you very much to Spencer Johnson for providing me with early access so I can get this video to you and check it out a little bit early. We're going to be driving around all of the different settlements and sites on this map in this Fire Chief Legrand. I've never driven this, I don't think, before. But yeah, I'm looking forward to driving around. And this map is absolutely epic. So, it's pretty much modelled on Lake Tahoe. We've got a city down here which is called South Lake City. In real life, it's called uh, South Lake Tahoe. And then over here, to the east of the lake, we have uh, a desert which is based on the ne Nevada desert. We've got an airport, lots of kind of tundra and roads to explore. And then there is the lake, of course, in the centre. We've even got some, a cool like ramp and a dartboard. So we can try that out first, I think. So let's go. Here we are. This car is really cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, so if you want to check this map out, go to the link in the description where um, Spencer Johnson's Patreon is linked and you can gain access to this map at a certain tier on his Patreon. He creates amazing maps. I've played a lot of them before. Whoa, here we go. Full throttle, uh, siren. Oh, we haven't got the siren, oh no. Yeah. Is this gonna work? No, we are nowhere near. But as you can see, the lake looks absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, we don't float. Oh, well. Okay, so let's drive around. Now, as we're driving around, you'll see a lot of the scenery in the buildings. It's kind of based on like 1950s or 1960s stuff. So this gas station looks very retro, doesn't it? It looks awesome. Okay, here we go. We're going to drive around. So this city feels great. It really is very nice definitely has that American feel. Um, I have been to Nevada. I've never been to Lake Tahoe, but uh, Lake Tahoe is kind of south of Reno, which is like, I guess, a smaller Las Vegas. But yeah, look, there's some huge buildings here. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Hasn't got much of a pickup, this thing, has it? I mean, if you've got to respond to, like, a fire, it doesn't go very fast. Whoa, look, a, a giant ice cream. Look at that. That is awesome. Retro twist. Oh, I love it. Okay. So here we are, driving past the lake. Look at how scenic it is. Oh, that's awesome. We need ray traced uh, reflections for the water. Although, to be fair, it doesn't look too bad, does it? it? Looks pretty good. There's some construction over there. We'll go and check that out. Oh, we got a jump. There are lots of jumps around this map. Whoa! Oil pan damaged. And here we are, I guess, on the highway. Come on! Engine oil critically low. Oh dear. This doesn't sound good. Look at that look at little aerial on the top there. Whoa! And jump into the lake. Here we go. Oh! There we go. Oh yes. Perfect. You can get a really good look at all corners of the map here at Overlook Peak. And at the top, you've got a treat because there's loads of ramps to jump off. Is there one down here? Where is it? Yes, there it is. Look. So we're going to jump off, I guess, this ramp first. And then we're going to spawn back here and jump off the other two as well. So here we go. Let's jump into the desert. On top of a mountain and let's go to the desert. Oh, that's steep. That's really steep. That was much steeper than I thought it was going to be. Whoa. Oh, I didn't quite line it up. Whoa, we're barrel rolling. And we're dead. Wow. Here we are in the desert, though. Oh, yeah. So it's completely different. Completely different terrain. Just a short hop, quite literally, over the mountains. And we've got another one of these retro garages. Um, have we got any, like... I don't think there are cactuses there. Or maybe there are. I mm, just like dry bushes and dry um, tundra, I guess. And here's the airport. We'll um, we'll fly a plane from here later. So back to the spawn point at Overlook Peak. This jump over here. I think this will take us straight over to the lake. Whoa, it's a bit. Whoa, it's like a roller coaster. There we go. Go go go. Where will we actually land? Uh oh. 
Whoa. There we go. I don't think an airbag would have helped there. I was just wondering there's no airbag, but uh, yeah. The steering wheel is in our face, basically. Oh, dear. Fire chief down. Look at the engine. Okay. And the other one is behind us. Are there more than one? I think this is the road up here. So you have to kind of drive up the side here. A small path, which is almost like an obstacle course. Look at this. You need a very, very powerful car to get up here. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so we just want to drive down this one here into the city. No. Come on. Four-wheel drive, I think. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Into the city we go. Oh, yes. Come on. Faster. Let's hit one of those buildings. Yes. We Almost. Oh, we're going straight into the car park. There we go. Parked it perfectly. Wow. Completely flat. So here we are at the airport. As you can see, it's quite a long runway. Um, we've got solar panels by the side, lots of hangars, and a whole desert to explore. So let's have a go. We're in the ultralight trike mod. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Now, in the last video I made on this, I realised that the sport version wasn't complete um, like in its, um, its parts. So I had to manually go into the parts list and add all the different parts. But... Um, yeah, as you can see, the only thing that's different is really that small bit at the front, which I guess is more lightweight. Anyway, here we go. So we're in the desert. I want that view. There we go. Zoom out a bit. Here we go. It really does look good. Spencer Johnson creates very believable um, environments and biomes. It's great. As you can see, we've got telegraph poles all along the road. And a very steep road out of it, but then... The really cool road is this one here, which we'll drive along in a second. It's, um, uh-oh. Oh, I'm rubbish with this thing. Ah! Okay. Whatever. Um, as you can see here, there's like a road through or down the valley here, or like the mountains. It's great. It's a great road, I guess, for the scintilla. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try the scintilla. Um, oh, look. There's, and here's the off-road path that goes round. So, let's try the scintilla on this road. Um, or the Mondello. No, I'm not going to try that. That's a paid mod. I want to use a scintilla, really. Um, here we go. And we're going to use the GTX. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to put it in Corsa mode. Of course. Here we go. Oh, yes. It's a very wide road. Oh, look at that road stretching out ahead of us. That is epic. And listen to that engine. Oh, yes. This is a very long road, and you can definitely put a car uh, through its paces on here. Brake. Oh, no. That is what happens if you don't brake hard enough. Rip. Let's get us back on the road. Okay. Bang. Look how the road has been cut through this mountain along the side. Oh! Oh no! That was nearly disaster. This road must be like, I don't know, a good five or six miles long. We're still climbing. Break, 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 break! No, I did it again, like, in exactly the same way. Oh, my goodness. As you can see, it just loops round and round, and then it heads over to the city. Look at this. You're not going to get bored driving up and down this road. It's so um, varied, and it's almost like a racetrack, actually. Here we go. There is the city. And it continues, I think, in the other direction, as it loops back round here. Yep, there you go. So that, how long is that? Probably... It's probably less than five miles, but yeah, it's probably two or three. Um, okay, let's have a look at this area over here. What is this? This is another gas station. Oh, my goodness. You definitely um, serve well for gas stations in this town. And where was that construction site? 
Over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Are they building a hotel here? I'm guessing they are. Let's have a look. Lost a Mesa. Oh, that's a spoiler alert for another new map that Spencer Johnson is creating. Okay. Then on this side of the map, as you can see, there are even more country roads to explore through the mountains um, on this side. So let's have a quick go. Is there a spawn point here? The mountain road. Yes. It's actually called the mountain road, this one. There we go. Now, I'm going to drive properly now. Not too fast. Oh. It understeers a bit, this car, but it's not that bad. Oh dear, I changed my mind. Maybe the GTX is more understeery. I'm not sure. Really feels great. The amount of vegetation and all the trees really add to this map. And then the view onto the lake is just amazing. Whoa, brake, 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 brake. Stop sign. Oh. There we go. So let's see what speed we can get to on this outer road on the lake. So what top speed does this thing have? About 205 or 210, I think. We could use that jump, but um, I want to do some top speed runs. Here we go. It's a little bit of a sharp corner here. There we go. Are we going left? Yep. I did have to brake there a bit. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. How much faster can we go? Oh no, there's a tree coming up. We nearly hit that tree and we're going to hit a rock. Oh dear. What a disaster. But we didn't flip upside down, so those um, explosive bolts in the doors didn't have to um, activate. Okay, what else have we missed? So, there is a truck stop. Is that actually what that was? Yes, it's a truck stop, of course. That's epic. So you could bring your truck in here. Maybe this would be great for like role-playing as truck drivers on this map. That'd be awesome. Um, now, I want to have a go at the... Um, car darts again. Let's see if we can aim right for the centre. And what car do you think would be good for this? Well, it's not actually a car, but I think it had to be the Hero Bus. Of course, this has the Jato rockets on the back. And I think it'll be perfect for getting us to the centre of that target. So, let's go. What speed do we need? About 80, maybe? That's way too much. Let's try 60. About there. Bit further forward. Oh yes, look, we can use the um, Jato rockets to propel us forward a bit more. So let's try that again. Too, way too much. Can we still fly? Yay! Yeah, we've got a boat now. Is it working? Are we going to take off? Come on! Oh, look at this. We're like a boat. That's majestic. Oh, we sank. Oh dear. Look at this lake. Wow. We could go fishing from here. <laughs> this is definitely one of the most visually impressive modded maps there is. The lake in the centre, or just the idea of a map themed or built around a lake, is really awesome. And of course we've got that amazing variety of terrain. We've got the more mountainous area over here, the flat bowl where the lake is, and then the desert. And there's lots of little roads um, or just areas to explore around here. There's the airport. Is there anything over here? I was expecting to see like aliens or something. Whoa. We could do a big finish on that ramp. Let's try it. Whoa, look at this steep hill here. There are lots of ramps to just go and find and enjoy. So let's try this one. Now we're going to need an off-road vehicle. So I'm thinking, what about a Roma... Oh, I don't know what they are. They might, that must be a mod. Let's go for the um, the adventure. Sure. Here we go. Let's try this. So that was Lake Faso by Spencer Johnson. If you want to try this map, go to the link in the description. Um, go to his Patreon and support him at a certain tier. Uh oh. And you'll get access to this map and all of Spencer's previous and future maps. This map will probably come out on Spencer's repository page soon. For free for everyone. But of course there will be exclusive access to his Patreon for quite a while before then.
There we go. That was awesome. Um, if you want to see some more BeamNG, click the video on screen right now where I fly that uh, little ultralight more in depth. Um, I didn't really get a chance to fly it properly today. Thank you to my ultra sim fan, Oh My Mandy. They support me on the YouTube membership. So you can get a membership for as little as $1.99 per month. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.